This is a topic that's very dear to my heart because as some of you may know, I'm a Roman archeologist and I specialize in mega disasters. So I'm interested in things like Pompeii and the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. And we'll talk about that in the course and Pompeiitis that in, infested Europe really uh, through the 18th century and some of the remarkable letters that were sent back from Johann Winckelmann and how that helped to inspire a whole age uh, in classical and neoclassical art and architecture. We'll also talk a bit about things uh, like grotesques, which sounds like an awful thing to say, but the grotesques came from grottos, underground grottos in Rome, where you could go down by ladder and see remarkable paintings from the Roman period that inspired artists of the day. So we'll have four class lectures and we're gonna have lots of videos and lots of art to look at. And we're gonna talk about the influence of the Greeks and the Romans in later generations. So if you're interested to find out how, for example, important the classical tradition was in the Renaissance, and we'll look at the Baroque and how the Romans developed Baroque art and how people like Borromini stole it and used it in the 17th century. Um, and we'll also talk about the Romantic movement and groups like the Symbolists and all the influence of classical art on them. But we'll also talk a good bit about Mussolini and Hitler and how Mussolini uh, adopted classical styles and created a brutalist sort of architecture and then how Hitler learned that from him and expanded upon it. What I hope is that students taking this class will get a better appreciation of what the Greeks and the Romans contributed to our civilization and indeed even to our very country. Every time you take out some money and look at it, you're looking at classical influence and you're gonna see that all the extraordinary things um, that Greeks and Romans did uh, to uh, make our country what it is today. We're going to look particularly at people like Thomas Jefferson and the whole neoclassical tradition and the influences that came from England and France and even the later Renaissance architects like Palladio. So Lana and I, my Cocker Spaniel, um, Lana is incredibly enthusiastic, as you can see about the course. Show them how enthusiastic you are. Hmm? Wow. Uh, so we want to invite you to join us this summer for the Humanities Seminars Program class. Uh, if, if that will be a special salute to the art of the classical ideals.